Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer Biology, GSSS Majwa District Mandi. Today, I am going to teach you 8th chapter of Biology, Human Health and Diseases. And today's topic is Malaria and Amoebiasis. Let us study some of the human diseases. First one is malaria. Let us first of all discuss history of malaria. In 1880, a French army doctor first observed parasite in patients RVC. For this work, he got Nobel Prize in 1907. Then in 1898, Britain's Sir Ronald Ross proved that malaria is transmitted by mosquito. For his discovery, he got Nobel Prize in 1902. Now, cause of malaria. Malaria is caused by a tiny protozoan named as plasmodium. There are different species of plasmodium which are responsible for different types of malaria. These are plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malari, plasmodium falciparum. Of these, plasmodium falciparum causes most serious kind of malaria called malignant malaria and which can be proved fatal. Life cycle of malarial parasite. Female Anopheles mosquito is the vector of plasmodium, which transfers the sporozoites, the infectious form, in human body. The malarial parasite requires two hosts to complete its life cycle. It is called digenetic. These two hosts are human and mosquito. Plasmodium enters the human body as sporozoite through the bite of infected female Anopheles mosquito. Parasite initially multiplies within the liver cells and then attack the red blood cells causing their rupture. This can be understood in this diagram. At Number one, this is the transmission to human. This is the transmission to human, the sporozoites, the infective form of the parasite. Then here, stage number two, the sporozoites enter the liver cells and infect hepatocytes, that is cells of the liver. Then at stage three, the liver cells a rupture and merozoites are released. These are the merozoites. These are released. Now, in stage 4, the intraerythrocytic cycle takes place. This is the erythrocytes, RBC, other name for them. In them, the merozoites grow and this is called intraerythrocytic cycle. Now, they produce gametes, this is the sexual cycle and these are transmitted into the mosquito. Next is the rupture of RBC release a toxic substance called hemozoin. This hemozoin causes chill and high fever recurring every 3-4 days. When a female Anopheles mosquito bites an infected person, these parasites enter the mosquito's body and undergo further development. The parasites multiply within these mosquitoes to form sporozoites that are stored in their salivary glands. When these mosquitoes bite a human, the sporozoites are introduced into his her body 
initiating the events mentioned above. These thus malarial parasites require two hosts, human and mosquito, to complete its life cycle. Now let us understand life cycle of Plasmodium vivax with the help of this diagram. This is when the mosquito bites human, the sporozoites are injected with its bite. The sporozoites reach the liver through blood. Now the parasite reproduces asexually in liver cells, bursting the cell and releasing these asexually reproduced cells also called mirozoites into the blood. Now parasites reproduce asexually in red blood cells, bursting the red blood cells and causing cycles of fever due to release of hemozoin and other symptoms are appear. Released parasite infect new red blood cells now. So this is cycle repeated as well with the release of hemozoin which causes chills and fever. Then the stages, sexual stages called gametocytes, they develop in red blood cells and male and female gametocytes are produced. Female mosquito takes up gametocytes with blood meal with their bite and now fertilization and development take place in mosquitoes intestine now this is the stage which started in the mosquito host now inside the mosquito the mature infective stage porozoites escape from intestine and migrate to the mosquitoes salivary glands so these porozoites are now produced when the mosquito bites another human the sporozoites are injected with bite so this is the life cycle of plasmodium vivax incubation period it is about 12 days in plasmodium vivax now symptoms headache muscle pain high fever the malarial attack is of 6 to 10 hours and can be divided into three stages first one is cold stage it is chilling and shivering stage of patient then hot stage it is high fever stage when around 106 degree fahrenheit temperature increases now sweating stage when temperature goes down with profuse sweating takes place now prophylaxis prophylaxis in this case is how to protect ourselves by controlling mosquitoes so look at the diagram here this is mosquito how can we protect ourselves from mosquitoes we begin from here this is the get our houses fitted with wire mesh then wear long sleeve clothes and now sleeping under bed nets treated with insecticides then use mosquito repellent creams liquids coils and mats and then avoid storage of water in tires pots coolers and tanks so as to avoid the developing of mosquitoes there then therapy a number of anti malarial drugs are available for example quinine which is extracted from the bark of cinchona tree and chloroquine daraprim etc most effective drug is daraprim which kills the parasitic stages present in liver and rbc latest anti malarial drug is mefloquine now next disease is amebiasis 
और अमीबिक डायसेंट्री द पैथोजन इट इज ड्यू टू एन इंटेस्टाइनल प्रोटोजोन पैरासाइट एंटमीबा हिस्टोलिटिका सिम्टम्स द पैरासाइट लिव्स इन लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन एंड डिस्ट्रॉयज द म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन दिस मे कॉज ब्लीडिंग एंड अल्सर दैट प्रोड्यूस डायसेंट्री एंड पेशेंट पास इज आउट ब्लड एंड म्यूकस विद स्टूल there will be severe pain in abdomen fever nausea and nervousness now mode of transmission as the cysts of pathogen are found in the intestinal discharge the possibility of infection to healthy persons is through contaminated water or improperly washed or cooked vegetables or and fruits the pathogen can also be transmitted through the dirty hands now prevention proper disposal of fecal matter of the patient should be done vegetables and fruits which used raw should be thoroughly washed water should be boiled before drinking with this we come to close of today's topic thanks for watching